Right, so in today's video, I thought I'd just give you a quick little update of how the front lawn is looking. Now, I've not posted a video since I uploaded the overseeding video of this and top dressing using compost. And as you can see, it's looking really nice at the moment. It's thickened out a lot compared to what it was. Now, I'll put up on screen now a picture of how this lawn looked back in sort of like late March when uh, I first scarified it. And also a few pictures of how it's sort of progressed over the, uh, the past couple of months and the past few weeks. And I'll put some timestamps on there as well to show you when those pictures were taken. But you can see that the grass has really sort of come into its own now. And that compost seems to have done a, a brilliant job. Now, the only patch that is seems to be bare at the moment is this bit here. And you can see there's a um, the odd little seed that's tried to grow in there and things and little bits have. But I just think that's a really dry spot of the lawn. So I'm not 100% sure why. It's not really grown out, but it hasn't. But for the most part, you can see it's looking really nice. Now, we do have some weeds knocking about, so there's a few things that are sort of near the front, a few weed grasses that I do need to get rid of still. Um, we had some clover near the front. So yeah, with it being only maybe a couple of months since I actually renovated this lawn, it's looking really nice. Now there are a few reasons why the lawn's looking as good as what it is at the moment. So first one is regular cutting. I've been coming out every, I'd say, three to four days and just giving it a cut. And all I've been doing is taking the very tips off the grass, no more than that. They say, you know, it's the one third rule. As long as you abide by that and you only take off about a third of your lawn at a time, it's gonna bounce back and all it's gonna do is encourage lots of that growth to keep that lawn thicker enough. So you can see, you know, it keeps that green colour and it stays really nice. When you are cutting your lawn as well, you don't want to be cutting it on the highest setting. So you can see my lawnmower's got five different settings on it and I'm currently cutting the front lawn on the fourth setting. Now at first what I did do was I was cutting it on number three, but because the lawn at the front is quite uneven, the places where there was sort of sort of rises in the soil, it was just scalping the grass and then the places where it's quite low, it was leaving it a little bit too long. So you're having this weird sort of patchy effect. So cutting it on a little bit of a higher setting sort of reduces that effect and keeps the grass looking nice and even. And when you see it, the grass looks fairly flat to be honest, even though it is slightly bumpy. So yeah, second highest setting. What I did do at first is I did cut it on the first setting when I originally scalped the grass. And this is because you want to take the grass down as low as you can so you can rip out any of the thatch in that thatch layer. But if you want to find out any more about scarifying your lawn, I'll leave links on screen now and a few links in the description to a few different videos you can watch that sort of talk you through, you know, the benefits of scarifying, when you should scarify and how to do it too. So as well as the regular cutting, there are two products that I've been putting onto the lawn as well. So the first one is this, is the Seafeed Extra. And what it is, it's sort of like a, it says on the, the bottle there, an organic seaweed fertilizer that's used just to help green up your lawn and uh, keep it grown really nice. So there's a few different things that it says, you can use it for fruits and veg and flowers and all sorts, but it says on the back here for every 10 milliliters, um, you should be putting it into five liters of water and this should be a treatment that you use on your lawn every 28 days. So I've put two lots of this on the lawn so far and every time I've put it on after about two or three days, it really starts to green up. So that's the first product. The second one is this, which is the Miracle Grow Evergreen Fast Green. Now I've only used this once so far on the lawn, but it does seem to have made a massive difference. So you can see it says a similar sort of thing on this, it makes 40 ml uh, of product with every four liters. So there's more of this that goes into the water than what there is of the sea feed extra. But the idea of this is just to keep your grass grown really well and keep it green. Now it contains lots of nitrogen and you know, if you do any Googling to do with your lawn, you know, nitrogen's one of those key essential sort of ingredients that your, your grass needs to stay green. So I've only used this once so far and from the results I've had at the moment, it's looking really nice and really green, but it did take about two or three days to come through. This is what I've been using to apply the product. And all it is, it's basically just a five litre compressed sprayer from home base. Now it only costs about 12 pounds and it's got this little nozzle on the end where it comes out in a fine mist. But one thing that I would recommend is that if you're gonna use something like this, uh, when it comes to spraying your lawn, 
you're going to be wanting to use it on a really small space so you'll know from seeing my front lawn it's not a massive patch of grass it's only small so something this size seems to do the job uh, and it's not necessarily because of the capacity it's more because of the nozzle at the top it's not one of those nozzles that sprays into a line it, it only sprays into a fine mist so you really need to be using it on a day when there's no wind whatsoever ideally now one thing i will be investing in over the next few weeks is a knapsack a backpack sprayer and the reason being is because the sprayer that i've got in the garage is just going to be a bit of a pain to use when it comes to spraying this lawn and the reason being is that the spray pattern's probably only about this big and with it being circular it's a bit of a pain having to go you know across the entire lawn so getting a knapsack sprayer with you know a wider nozzle on it is just going to ensure that i get even coverage across the lawn and you can see the back lawn's looking really nice at the moment it's uh cut at this evening so you can see we've got some nice stripes sort of on the go at the moment uh, i have overseas that you'll see that from my previous video uh, but one thing i did mention in the last video was this problem I've got at the moment, which is um, some of the tips of the grass seem to be yellow and now I'm not 100% sure what's causing this. See, there's quite a lot of it in certain patches. But uh, one thing I do know is that I had this same issue on the front lawn and after I used the fast green, it seemed to sort of subside and uh, stay completely green after a couple of days. So I'm thinking if I put some fast green on the grass, maybe it's the nitrogen within the product that's bringing the green back out of the grass so i'm not too sure if you know any more uh, just put it in the comments below i'm happy to check out you know any products that will hopefully keep this looking you know as green as it can as green as some of these patches are here without any of that horrible yellowing throughout so thanks for watching today's video if you'd like to see any more of my content so anything to do with garden renovation when i laid the patio when I leveled the lawn, when I put a retainer wall in place. Head over to my channel to see any of those. And if you'd like to keep up with the garden renovation or you're just interested to see how someone with just basic tools maintains the lawn and keeps it green throughout the summer, then feel free to subscribe to follow along. And thanks for watching.